what is good people tune you again from caesar graphics welcome to my channel if you're new here don't forget to hit the subscribe button and remember to ring the bell so you'll be notified when i post my tutorials today i'm going to be teaching you guys how to make this poster that i got the inspiration from the book of genesis 24 so the story is about rebecca and isaac so i would advise to go check out the story and know what actually inspired this poster that i'm going to be teaching you guys how to achieve today so without any further ado let's jump into today's tutorial So here we have now Photoshop. So I'm going to create a new document now. I'm going to click on File and I'll select New. So for this project, I'm going to be using the 1080 by 1350 because I'm going to be posting this on Instagram. So I'm using the Instagram portrait frame size and my resolution is going to be 120. I'm not going to leave that. So I'll leave the color mode the way it is and I'm just going to say OK. Change the color of my background. So I'm going to pick a color from here. So I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to create a new layer and call this BG. Then I'm going to use the shortcuts to apply the color on my foreground color to the layer. And I'll bring in my exercise files. So I'm going to start with the picture of Abraham. So I'm just going to scale that down. So this is the father of Isaac. Okay, so I'm going to skip that now like so. Then I'm going to bring in Isaac, which is this. And I'm going to position him here. Like that. so. Bring in Rebecca. Let's get it down like so. So I'm going to bring in the picture of the messenger. It's layer. And the big one needs to be behind. So I'm going to give my layer name. So I'm going to call it the messenger. I'll bring in the picture of the camel. Drag that and drop. I'll flip this this way. And I'm just going to scale this up a little bit and push it out. Again, and push it to somewhere around here, just like so. And as you can see, it's covering some part of the messenger. So I'm going to add a layer mask and just take out some part of the layer to make the messenger's layer visible. So I'm just going to select the brush tool. And I'm going to scale this down. Make sure your foreground is set to black. And I'm going to zoom in and I'm just going to brush to take out this part from the layer. Just like so. All right. But one other thing I notice again, I don't want this other camera to be part of the scene. So I'm just going to select the pen tool. So I'm going to hit Ctrl Enter to convert that path to a macro selection. And I'm going to hold on Alt and Backspace to add my foreground color to the layer mask of the handouts. So I'm going to hit Ctrl D on my keyboard to take out the macro selection. And I'm going to select the brush tool again, increase the size of the brush. And I'm just going to take out some part of that layer. So the next thing we're going to do now is I need to separate each of the character from the layer behind them. So I'm going to uh, start with Isaac. I'm going to create a new layer and I'll call this. And this should be behind Isaac. Just like so. And I'm going to pick a color. I'm going to use this orange color. And I'm going to zoom in. And I'm just going to brush to add. Or uh, you know what? Let's just use another type of brush. So I'm just going to come here. And 
just uh, look for a corner brush. So I'm going to use this type of brush, and I'm just going to brush. All right. Now there's something I need to teach you guys. I'm going to click on the shape dynamic option here, and I'll choose. I'm going to move the angle jitter up like so to something around forty percent. And when I click, my brush will automatically rotate itself. So watch my brush now. If I click now, you see that it automatically rotates. So there's only for me rotating my brush from the brush setting anymore. So I'm just going to click and start having um, random rotation of my brush on that layer. All right. So I'm just going to click some part outside of the layer just like so. You know what? I just use another type of brush. Let me just use this. This is uh, my brush, and I'm going to close the spacing, and I'm just going to reduce the size. Now, if you don't have this type of brush I have here, what you just need to do is to come here, click on this gear icon, and select Restore the four brushes. So, once you click on this, you have this um, type of brush that I have here. Push the messenger up a little bit. So I'm going to click on layer of the messenger and I'm just going to push him up like so. Let's go straight to the messenger layer and I'm going to create a new layer and call this NSGRBG. I'm going to select OK. And this should be behind this. I'm going to select the boss tool. And I'm going to do the same thing again. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put everything in a group. Alright. So, I should select all the layers and I'm going to hit Ctrl G on my keyboard to put them in a group. And I'm going to call this. So, I'm going to just move this down. And um, I think I just need to increase this guy a little bit. So, I'm just going to go straight into the folder. Hit the Ctrl G on my keyboard and just, you know, make him a little bit bigger. And collapse the group. Okay, um, I think I need to take out some part of this brush from the layer. So I'm just going to come here and select the eraser tool. So I'm just going to take out some part of this and I'm going to go straight to the shape dynamic and increase my angle data to 56, just like so. And I'm just going to take out some part of that layer. I'm going to make a copy of this layer, hide this one, right click on it, and select Convert to Smart Objects. And I'm going to select the curve adjustment, move this down, push this up like so, and I'm going to just select the luminosity option here. And I'm going to just push this down like so, and click on this icon to apply to just only that layer. Okay, so I'm going to select the black and white option again. Click on the same icon again to apply to just only that layer and I'm going to just select soft lights. So what I'm trying to do here is to boost the shadow and reduce the highlights. Alright, so the reason why I'm doing this is I need the shadow and the highlight to be more stronger to be able to achieve the effect I'm about to apply to the project. So I'm going to just shift select the three layers and I'll control E on my keyboard to match the layers. Then I'll go straight to filter and I'll select filter gallery. Alright, 
So I'll go straight to um, poster edges. So um, for the posterization point and uh, for the edges, I'm going to leave that the way it is, and the edge intensity will remain the way it is. And I'm just going to select OK. So I'm going to select filter and select stylize and select oil paint filter. If your oil paint filter is grayed out, check your graphics card if it's strong enough to handle this application or you can update your graphics driver. Leave the settings the way it is because um, the concept I'm trying to achieve here is to have that this um, smooth edges on the pixels of the colors. You select OK, go to gradient map and I'll say I only want this to apply to only this layer so I'm going to click on this and make sure you are on the gradient map icon and I'm going to click and for the shadow the color I'm going to use is going to be 150,000 all right and I'm going to select OK so and I'm going to make the location too and I'll pick another slider again and I'm going to click here and change the color of this to 4E1234 and select OK. So for, for the location of this, I'm, I'm just going to make it 14. So I'm just going to click here again and for this one, FF5C03, just going to select OK. So for the location of this one, I'm going to make it uh, Alright, so I'm just going to select OK. Select the black and white adjustment here. Alright, and I'll go to the channel tab and I'm going to pick the red. And I'll go to select and select color it. So I'm just going to pick the color and I'm just going to select OK. Then what I'm going to do is to go back to all the layers, create a new layer, make this layer be above all the layers and I'm going to call this black okay and I'm going to fill this with black so I'm going to change this color to black like so and I'm going to hold on alt and hit backspace and hide it so now we need to make all this visible now you see now I'm beginning to get more details on the faces of our characters so I'm going to go back again to the previous um, effect that I did I'm going to make this visible and I'll go to the channel tab again. I'm just going to drag and make a copy of the green channel. And I'm going to keep the control L on my keyboard. Now remember, we only need the highlights on their faces. So I'm going to push this down. So I think I'm okay with this. I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to just click on this icon here to create a marquee of the layer. I'm going to go to the layer tab now and I'm going to click on the new layer and I'll call this. Then I'm going to fill it with my background color by holding ctrl and backspace. Turn off this black and white layer and I'm going to make this visible. I'm going to make this visible. Now we see now you see now we have those um, effects on their faces but it's kind of strong. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to reduce the opacity and we need to take it out from this part of the layer so i'm going to add the layer mask and i'm going to select the brush tool make sure this is set to black and i'm just going to take out that part from the layer okay cool so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make a copy of this all right and i'm going to make this visible because i need that white effect on the face of um, Abraham here, so I'm just going to make this visible like so. We need to now take it out from this part of the layer, and I'm going to select the lasso tool. Or my foreground to the layer to take out that part from the layer. Like so, I'm going to start with Rebecca. I'm going to zoom in and make this visible. Great. New layer and call this light. All right. And I'm going to switch this to white. Select the brush tool. Make sure you're using the hard brush. And I'm just going to reduce the size of the brush and turn on the pen pressure option here. All right. 
And let's just see what we have. All right, this is good. So I'm going to zoom in and push this down. And I'm just going to add this back to the scene. So I'm going to put that bit in again in a group. And I'm going to select a curve adjustment and I'll say I want it to apply to just totally that layer. So I'm going to reduce the saturation because I realized that the color is too strong. So I'm going to um, click on this. So apply it to just only that layer and reduce the saturation because I need to take out some part of this layer. So I'm going to select the brush too. Alright, I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to hold on Alt and click here to sample a color and I'm going to increase that with my brush. Turn on the shape dynamic. So make sure the angle jitter is 50. So I'm going to add vector mask to the layer, apply the brush, just like so. So I'm going to create a new layer again. Just add a brush, close the spacing. So I'm going to do the size of my brush and just click. Alright, and I'm going to draw a circle separating the characters from the background. So I'm going to create a new layer and select the shape tool. Alright, so now make sure you're using the ellipse tool and I'm going to hold down shift and drag to create a perfect circle. And I'm going to bring in the well, which is this. I'm just going to drag that and drop here like so. But I'm going to be very fast with it because I'm applying the same effect to this again. So I'm just going to push this up. Move this here. And this will be the size of my brush. And I'm just going to use my cell. Copy. And I'm gonna have this one right click and convert it to a smart objects. I think you can rasterize it. And I'm gonna call the filter, stylize. And I'm gonna select the poster edge. And from here, 
and I'm just going to select OK. I'm going to filter, stylize, and I'll select all points. OK, and I'm going to select OK again. So for this, I'm just going to put it inside this layer, like inside this group, like so. And I'm going to make a copy of this. And this should be above the layer of the well. You know what? I need to give it a name. So I'm going to call it well. So I'm going to just hold on, Alt, and click to apply to just the layer of the well. And I'm going to select curve to just uh, make this more darker. And I'm going to click on this icon to apply it to just only that layer. And I'm going to move this down like so. Move it up like so. Keep saturation and click on this icon. And I'm going to reduce the saturation. But you know what? I need to take out the curve. Click here, close this. And I'm going to make this visible and hide every other layer with this. And I come here, I change to black and white. And I'll go to the channel tab here. And I'm going to click on the red, go to select and select color range. And I'm going to just select OK. So what I'm going to do is to go to the layer panel again and hide this. Then I'm going to make every other thing visible, make everything visible. And I'm going to go straight inside the folder on top of the well layer. I'm just going to create a new layer. And I'm going to fill this with my background color, which is black. So I think I need to turn this layer off. Okay. And I'm going to hit the Ctrl D on my keyboard to deselect. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add noise to this. So I'm going to hold on Alt and click. So the reason I always do that is so as to give it that real look. So I'm just going to come here and choose um, soft light and I'll Check the fill with soft light, neutral color, 50% gray option, and I'm going to select OK. And next is to, uh, to go to the filter option here and select a noise and say add noise. Okay, so if I zoom in now, you see we are beginning to see this that noise effect on the project. So I'm just going to move this up about this point and I'm just going to select OK. So the next thing I'm going to do is to add my text. So I have my text now, and um, it's 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 all right. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. And if you have not subscribed, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and remember to ring the bell so you will be notified when I post my tutorials. And if you are able to achieve anything with the help of this tutorial, don't forget to post it on your Instagram page and remember to tag me. My Instagram handle is right here on the screen. And I'll see you guys again in my next tutorial. Peace.